So we are going to try to create a dedicated domain for email sending from our Go High Level account. Let me actually explain the use case over here so it will be more uh, understandable for you. Uh, if we go from agency level to agency level settings, and if we go to email services, yeah, so this is the pop-up we see and they're asking me to create a dedicated domain and let me explain why we need this. So it's going to be more clear for you to understand if you read this part. They're saying that not having a dedicated sending domain can lead to several issues when it comes to email communication, deliverability problems, reputation damage, limited control, branding issues. Basically what they're trying to say is if you are trying to send an email from your GHL account, you'll uh, basically you'll have a lot of sub accounts, right? Those sub accounts will send out emails to prospects. And if you don't have a dedicated domain, you're going to have issues like branding, like, uh, so this is a, this is crm.homeservicemastery.net. If you don't have a dedicated domain for sending emails like email.homeservicemastery.net or lc.homeservicemastery.net, you're going to have branding issues. Also, there's a chance that those emails going out from your Go High Level account, no matter what sub account it's going out from, those emails will uh, end up in spam, which is something you never want, right? And also, uh, not having a dedicated domain gives you limited control over email sending, and also there's reputation damage as well. So that's why we need to add a dedicated domain. In order to create that, we will click on this. So I'm gonna try to add a domain here, and I'm gonna. They're actually suggesting we have lc dot mydomain.com which is going to be my uh, own domain so i'm going to say lc.mastery.net so try to use the same domain you've used for white label if you have any other choices just go ahead with that because maybe you're trying to protect the reputation of this domain uh, not actually connecting it up with the email sending thing maybe you have other preferences it, it actually depends on you it doesn't have to be the the same domain you used for white labeling and uh, used it as an API domain so I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna click add and verify now I'm gonna say add record manually so these are the DNS records we need to create to our hosting server so this domain if it's hosting uh, under an account like Namecheap or a Hawk host or a Bluehost or stuff like that because you've definitely bought it from somewhere now you can add the DNS records by going to that part so I'm gonna actually show you how I do that so right now I am in my DNS zone editor for this domain what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try adding these uh, these DNS records they want me to add one by one into my DNS record editor so let's just get started with this first one this is going to be a txt record so I'm going to say just copy this and I'm going to change it to txt and just copy the value from here and this is the record type this is the host and this is the value and hit save and then I'm going to try to copy the second one do the same thing all over again save the third one, this is going to be a different one, so this is going to be CNAME record, and just copy this. So make sure you are putting the record type correct. Don't get it wrong, otherwise it won't work. For the fourth one, it's going to be an MX record, so let's just say MX, and the value will be the value will be this they're actually asking for an integer so let me see if they have an integer for this okay nothing so it's gonna be the default one so let's just put 10 you know because default is 10 and for the fifth one it's gonna be another MX record which is gonna be 10 all right so now just give it some time, maybe a few minutes, maybe half an hour. And then when it's done, just try to hit verify. This will actually see, try to see if the DNS records you put into your hosting server is actually being propagated. So MX verified, CNAME verified, this one's verified. And also just if, if, if it still shows not verified, just tapping, uh, try tapping uh, verify domain, it will work. and yeah as you can already see it worked for me so 
I have successfully added a dedicated domain, right? So if I hit refresh, it should take some time, but it should eventually show you that the domain has been verified. And this is going to be your dedicated domain for sending out emails from this Go High Level account. So uh, when it's done verifying, it should show you something like this and it should say active over here and it should also say SSL issued. So that should take care of all the dedicated domain stuff for you.